Nolan, you are the most loving, kind, funny, and compassionate man that I have ever met. I am so happy and proud and feel blessed beyond belief that today I become your wife. I am honored to call you mine and to walk through life together with you. Father, we thank you so much for this day. You know all of the plans and all of the dreams, all of the, the, the work that has gone into planning and preparing for this day. And Father, it's here and we're glad. We thank you for its beauty. We thank you for the beautiful environment. Most of all, we thank you for this beautiful couple, Nolan and Carrie. I promise to celebrate with you all of our wins, but more importantly, to stand by your side through all of our fails. I promise to remember that neither of us are perfect, but that we are perfect for each other. God is in the process of forming Christ in you. That process is about to be accelerated. It's accelerated because when you live in such close proximity with another human being, your eyes are open to things that you never thought existed. Dear Carrie, I love you with all my heart. I promise to always be there for you. I will always put our marriage first, and I will never take you for granted. God, God has, has brought, brought us, us together. together. With, with his, his love, we can overcome any obstacles. I promise to love you and support you for the rest of my life. You're my best friend, my soulmate, and the love of my life. Uh, when Susie and I first met Nolan, uh, we knew pretty much right away what a special guy he was. We couldn't be more happier for them now, and we hope for a lifetime of love and happiness for both of you, and we love you both. Secondly, I want to thank Mark, especially, because I get another daughter that I didn't have to raise. <laughs> and Carrie, do you promise to love and cherish Nolan, to honor and sustain him in sickness and in health, in poverty as in wealth, and to be true to him in all things from this day forth and forevermore until death alone shall part you? I do. I promise to love you and support you for the rest of my life. You are my best friend, my soulmate, and the love of my life. I am so proud to be your husband. Nolan, you are the most loving, kind, funny, and compassionate man that I have ever met. I am so happy and proud and feel so blessed beyond belief that today I get to become your wife. I am honored to call you mine and to walk through life together with you. We beat up boys. We bought matching outfits, which officially made us best friends forever. Um, most people dream about their wedding since they're little, but I've been imagining about being Carrie's maid of honor since I was in the third grade. Writing these maid of honor speeches is brutal. It's like, hey, do you want to sit down and reflect on one of the most important relationships you've ever had and put it into words that you're going to read publicly about how you feel? It's a really good time. Oh, Carrie and, and Nolan, in his letter to the Ephesians, Paul made a startling statement about marriage. He said that the marriage of a man and a woman, that extraordinary fusion born out of love, is actually a shadow. It's a shadow of a greater reality. 
the, the reality of God's unconditional, unwavering love for us. And he said that marriage is a means by which we get to have a taste of that love while we live here on this earth. Now do you, Nolan, promise to love and cherish Carrie and to be true to her in all things from this day forth and forevermore until death alone shall part you? I do. I will seek to support and encourage you. I will seek to support and encourage you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. All that I have. All that I have. And all that I am is yours. And all that I am is yours. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. So being two years older than care, I've seen a lot. <laughs> I can tell you guys right now, my sister has never been better since meeting Nolan. I've noticed that immensely the last couple of years, and it's how awesome you make my sister that makes this such a blessing. So God bless you guys in your life together. I will seek to support and encourage you. I will seek to support and encourage you throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. All that I have. All that I have. And all that I am is yours. And all that I am is yours. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. And now, Nolan and Carrie, in recognition of these vows that you have just made to one another, and in accordance with the laws of the state, it's my great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Nolan, you may kiss your yeah. mother.